Hello everyone, I'm Suhail, I am a JRF at Lucy and most of the days you can find me at the Institute of Astronomy and the Kavli Institute for Cosmology which is on Mattingly Road. Uh, you can find details of my CRS ID and where to find me in linked pages as well as on the Institute website. So I work in cosmology and the question I am very interested in is how fast is the universe expanding? Now to do these measurements, I use something known as type 1e supernovae, which is a class of exploding stars, and they have a very similar brightness, so we can measure distances very precisely. Now that leads to the question, why is this very interesting? Now in the last few years, so in very recent terms in terms of the field, there has been a very important problem that has crept up. And this is the fact that when we infer uh, the value of the expansion rate of the universe, based on the first light, which is known as the cosmic microwave background, this value is lower than the direct measurement using a particular class of pulsating stars to calibrate the luminosity of supernovae. Now, what I'm trying to do is use independent methods in order to try and understand what is the cause of this discrepancy. This is because this discrepancy could be due to one of two broad reasons. One is that there is something we don't understand about the measurements uh, that is very fundamental to the astrophysics of the measurements. Or, as I would mentioned previously, this is an inference from the early universe. It requires us to model the universe. And we have a very well understood model of the universe. So if it is actually that we trust all of the measurements really well, this could be a sign of a very fundamental new discovery. What I'm doing is I'm using independent ways to get distances to these supernovae by measuring stars in their galaxies, which are known as their host galaxies. And I'm also using something known as the phenomenon of strong lensing, which is when the supernova is magnified by a galaxy between us and the host galaxy of the supernova. And using this phenomenon, we measure a completely independent way in which we get distances in the universe and get the expansion rate. So these are the things that like keep me up at night figuratively and um, I am also outside of astronomy very interested in uh, animal activism, uh, roasting coffee and uh, also in stand-up comedy. So yeah, I'm very happy to talk to students, fellows, anyone who would uh, like to chat about um, you know, either of these things or things like observatories that are coming up in the next um, few years to try and answer these questions like the Rubin Observatory or now the JWST. So yeah, looking forward to chatting with people soon.